Hey there wonderful viewers! Welcome back to our EQS tutorial series. In this episode, EQS context will be explained. Within the environment query system, contexts provide a frame of reference for any tests or generators used. Default engine EQS contexts are environment query context carrier and environment query context item. Carrier can be any actor that is provided when we run EQS query. Context item is the item created by generator. Items are those fears that we see when testing our EQS queries. But you can create custom context through Blueprint using environment query context blueprint base class. This will provide few functions that we can override and enable us to create custom context for use within generators or tests. Few examples of custom contexts are player head location, player feet location, custom context can be multiple mesh socket locations so we can check them in our tests or environment query, heal items around the actor or anything else. So let's create custom context. Right click and create blueprint class and choose environment query context blueprint base and name it however you want. When we open context we just created, we can override four functions. Provide single location, provide location set, provide single actor, provide actor set. So context can provide you with single location or multiple locations, single actor or multiple actors. You need to decide and take one of these functions to override because only one can be used. Provide single location. Provide single location will return the resulting location as a vector and in function you can get reference to carrier actor. And one usage example is to return actor location with some predefined offset to match your needs. In this example I will add an offset in the x axis and it will be 1000. I will get carrier location and add an offset. Now in EQS on generator I will use this context instead of carrier. Now in game scene generated items are offsetted by 1000 units. Provide location set. Provide location set works similar to single location, but here you can provide multiple locations. As I said previously, how you generate those locations is up to you, but in this example I will return a carrier location and offset location. Override function and create local variable, which is array of vectors or drag from return node and promote to local variable, and name it however you like. Add to that variable two locations, one is carrier location and other is dot location with offset. After that in the scene we can see that now EQS is generated two grids, one on carrier location and one on offset location. Provide single actor will return a single actor that we will provide in this function. I will return the first heal item actor from the scene. This heal item actor is just empty actor with simple cube. It is not recommended to use get all actors of class but for tutorial purposes it's fine. So we will get all heal items from the world. and return the first one. Always add checks if there are any items returned. Now in the scene you can see that EQS test spawn items are generated around the first heal item and if we move heal item EQS will update and generate around new heal item location. And the last one is provide actor set. It is similar to provide single actor, the only difference is that you can return multiple items. So now we will return all heal items. And points will be generated around every heal item. If there are no heal items in the world, EQS will execute and provide no items. Also these contexts can be used in tests. So let's create grid around carrier and add distance test. Set test purpose to score only. 
change distance 2 to our context and change scoring factor to minus 1. So this means that we will give a greater score to points that are closer to any heal item. In the scene we have two heal items and as you can see these points that are closer to both of the heal items have greater score. It's up to you to explore this and use it for your game purposes. In the next tutorials in this series as we cover other topics we will create more contexts and more complex ones. But when you think about it it's all about locations or actors you provide. Thanks for tuning in today, if you found this helpful don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more EQS insights. Your support means much to me and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Happy coding and until then take care.